Oh, oh. The switch off. Oh, Wait a second. Oh, it oh. might not be over yet. No! Oh, oh, the EXDB! EXDB! Go for a corner! The EXDB! Oh, they're going to put it in the line! Madness right now. What's going on? It's there. It's there. It's there. It's there. It's there. What is this? This is insane. Down four again. Three lows in a row. Four. Oh! 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 I can't go there! What's up, everybody? Welcome to Inside Esports. I'm Matt. This is Drew. What and up, you know, baby? yesterday we spoke about uh, versus fighting Street Fighter. Today yeah. it's all about Tekken. So tell me what went down. Look, Ni nee showing himself number one king of all time, baby. That won't, that man won't stop winning, no. right? He's so consistent. He's the leader of the Tekken World Tour board by a large margin. Like this is crazy. Dude, right? One day someone's gonna have to learn to take him down, but look, let's not take your word for it about Ni nee winning. Let's check out some highlights from versus fighting and Tekken 7 to see how Ni nee took it down. Never over tennis over if you're the Phantom. Goes for the mid-option. Here we go. Phantom does have rage. Damn! Oh, my. It's gonna hit! It's gonna hit! It's gonna crash! The Phantom! The Phantom! Why are you stretching the camera? It's never over! Is it over now? No, it's not over still! There it is! Oh, yeah. Boom! <laughs> there it is! Next is gonna do it. Oh, oh the watch. anti kick, but it's blocked. And Super Akumina was a chance here. Staying alive. Here we go. One more mix up. Has the bar. Could he have done the rage drop? I don't oh, oh, my oh, God! The satellite drop kick! What is going on? This is a beating so far in the second game. It Gets is. Gets the score attack. Oh! Wow. Over to the wall again. The Get switch back in the corner. Look at the combo! Get back in the corner, sir. And seven golden letters. Oh! Oh! oh. The switch up. Oh. Wait a second. Oh. It oh. might not be over yet. No! Oh. The EXDP! The EXDP! Go for a call, but the EXDP! Oh. Oh. Wait a second! It's going to slow down the line! Oh! Ooh, didn't let it rock. Using that focus, take a little damage on top of it. And he's just trying to find a way to yep. open him up. Back dashes and just Magic 4. And Magic 4 super ready for uh -huh. all of Super Akuma's offenses. There we go. And that's going to be all she wrote. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh, the what are you doing? The tension is thick here. Oh, oh, oh. 10 seconds. Oh, my God. Oh, and he was so ready for that. Rage, he's in rage. You know something big can happen yes. in rage. You and see? he's waiting for it. Being super patient, doesn't want to commit oh. early and eat big damage. This is madness right now. What's going on? It's the madness down. right here. It's madness. Buttons. What is this? This is insane. Down four again. Three lows in a row. Four. Oh. 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 I can't go there. Oh my God, that was insane. That was that so was ridiculous. Godlike. He takes oh. it and is your champion today. What a clutch round that was. To the surprise of nobody, Ni walked out of versus fighting as the champion. And of course, I've got Drew here to help me break it all down. I'm tired of asking people, you know, how Ni won events and all that jazz. So I want to know if you were going up against Ni and, and you watch him tournament in, tournament out, what are you going to target to try to actually beat him, take him down? Because right now he's proven that he can just take Dude. down anybody. It's gonna be harder when you're fighting literally Tekken, right? This guy's the embodiment of Tekken. This yeah. guy's movement is on point. His punishing is on point. His character selections and variety is so good. It's tough to it's tough to figure out what to do against him. I think what people are trying to do, they're trying to match his game plan, which is like, you know, being a little more methodical, waiting and trying to poke at him. I think you just gotta be a lot more aggressive to mess him up because he likes to wait and think and analyze you when you're when right. you're like just waiting, waiting to see what he does. So it's like, why don't you just confuse him? I think it's it's tough. He has a lot of problems when you fight when he fights aggression. Like Ars and Ash has has been able to yeah, confuse yeah. him when he's so aggressive with his uh, Kazumi. So it's kind of like, guys, maybe we should stop trying to play his game and play our game. So what about mixing it up in like character select? Bring something different because I know that's what Chanel does too. He's got like a bunch of characters and you can maybe mix them up with something. Do you think maybe people should go for a character that's not as expected, a little? Less common would that help take down me? Well, that that's a problem. Like you, that might work for a game, but it's not going to work for an entire set. Right. It's knee we're talking about. This guy is really good at adapting. He has so much experience in Tekken. It's like, what are you going to show him that he doesn't know? Fair enough, right? So yeah, it's kind I mean, of, it's tough. Low high was close though. In grand finals, he was close. He took him to the brink, um, and you know, but in winners finals, he got clean swept. So that wasn't so hot. But in grand finals, he made it all the way go to go to game five. So. What adaptions did you see from Lohai that helped him almost take down Ni once in Grands? It, once, once he got to Grand Finals, rank, uh, Lohai needed to just time his, his buttons a lot better and just really, really 
change his rhythm because he's he's used to Lee's used to his rhythm yeah. right you're Korean he plays you all the time <laughs> so you have to change your rhythm you got to change your your patterns and once you kind of did he, he was kind of thrown out for me like I said you can't take a whole set off him no. you got to keep mixing him up so it, it threw him off for like maybe two or three games and it, it didn't work the rest of the set. <laughs> like, knee won again. Once you get predictable, it's over against knee, right? Absolutely. He, he knows how to take down everything. Yeah. Uh, one other guy I want to talk about from VS Fighting was Super Akuma because he had some crazy moments throughout the entire tournament. So I want to know, like, is it just his play style that kind of leads to this crazy moments? Or is it just in those final seconds when it's clutch, he just pulls it up? No, it, Super Akuma's play style is absolutely wild. We saw him win the first Tekken World Tour premiere of the year yeah. with his Akuma because of how he played. He was wild man. Cherry Berry Mango couldn't handle him. And you're seeing that right here. It's consistent. It's a consistent wildness. And I think that's the type of wildness you need when you kind of go up against these Korean players. It's gonna mix it up, bring something new, right? All the time. That's It's fun to watch though. He had some, some crazy last second oh, wins. It, yeah, it was super man. hype. Um, aside from VS fighting, there were some there's some other stuff going on right now because Chikorin uh, flew over to Pakistan to take on some, some real killers because, you know, it's starting to get some traction over there thanks to Arsenal Ash. Yep. He kind of started everything when he took down Nia a couple times. Um, so now watching this stream, what, what have you kind of seen? How, how have Pakistan performed against Chikorin? Dude, there's a 16-year-old kid in Pakistan who beat Chikorin, Jin and Geese. That's nuts. 10-3. 16 Ten three. years old. 16 years old. This guy... Who knew? This this guy can't travel anywhere. He's getting he's Pakistan's getting nerfed by the visa by the visa <laughs> ban, right? It's so true. Th th this guy's crazy. Like Pakistan is showing that they're a really strong scene, especially beating Japan's best. Chikorin is Japan's best player, and right now all of them are either going even or beating him by a large margin, like that 16-year-old kid Sazin. So for a while we thought that we had taken figured out, right? It was yeah. me, the best player in the world, yeah. and then everyone just kind of fell in place. But now we've got Pakistan popping up, we've got Arsenal showing that he might be better than me. So what does this mean for Tekken going forward? Well, see, that's the thing. There's a lot of hotbeds and scenes that we don't know, that don't have a platform right. to expose their players with. And when, when that happens, like, you see stuff like this. You see hotbeds like Pakistan where, like, 10 million people and uh, like 10% of them are playing Tekken, right? They're playing Tekken at a high level, their own way, this new wild way that maybe Ni can't adapt to because why? Yeah. He's never seen that before. And that's what happens when you get a whole entire hotbed of people who don't, nobody knows, nobody knows these guys, nobody knows how they play. There's no footage on them, but once they play them, you get confused. Well, and I'm they bring hoping, a new uh, spice to that blank canvas that is Tekken. For sure. I hope we get to see them soon on a big stage, though, because they definitely deserve it if they're putting up results against Chikorin, even if it's like first to 10 unofficial stuff. I want to see them on the big stage, for especially sure. at EVO. But we're going to see Arsene Ash at EVO, which is super exciting. Yes. Um, and we made you make some predictions for Street Fighter yesterday. So first up, Drew, I want to ask, uh, who do you think is going to be someone who cracks on the top eight, someone who surprises and actually makes it to that main stage? You know, I think a European player is going to make it to top eight. I don't nice. know which European player, but I feel like we're sleeping on that scene so often in, 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 in terms of global Tekken that nobody, like they always find a way to do it. So I don't know which European player it will be, but it will be a European player. Cool. Yeah. And now, of course, we got to get a winner from you, Drew. It's not, usually it's easy. Usually Tekken's easy if you're picking winners, right? Yeah. Oh, me. There you go. There you go. But right. this time it's a little different. So who do you think is going to take it? Look, every year, Evo has been won by a different person, right? And that person, whoever wins it, never actually wins the Tekken World Tour. So it's very tough to predict. It's very tough to predict for me, but you know what? This man's too dominant. I'm still going with knee. I'm still going with knee. It's got to be knee. It's, it's always knee. knee. Yeah, it's always and knee, baby. At the end of the day, when you're crowning a Tekken champion, more often than not, it's knee. Yeah, and you know what? Knee is just like two letters, T and K, away from being <laughs> Tekken. You know what I'm saying? So that man is Tekken. He is Tekken, <laughs> essentially at this point. Drew, always a pleasure to ball out with you about some FGC.